Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am backpacking through South America with my boyfriend Ro and currently we are in Gordoba, the second biggest city of Argentina. We actually arrived in Gordoba already a few days ago. We took a night bus from Buenos Aires and the bus was actually really really comfortable. We had huge seats and I was able to get quite a decent sleep. But the past few days we haven't actually really done much because it's been a public holiday here in Cordoba so it's been a bit of a ghost town, everything's been closed and there hasn't been that much to do. We tried to take the train to the mountains but that failed and yeah. But now for today we're gonna really properly be exploring Cordoba city and I hope you guys are excited to tag along and yeah. But first things first, let's have some breakfast. San Martin which is probably like the main plaza here and yesterday when we were here there was no one it was like so quiet but today there's music and people and everything's open it's a completely different vibe and yeah it's a very nice looking plaza a lot of people sitting here and enjoying the nice weather and right by the plaza we have this church or cathedral let's go and check out what it looks like on the inside by the plaza there's also something called the cabildo so this is the former city hall that today has been turned into a museum that you can visit Let's go to a museum. We are standing now by the Museum of Religious Art and what I've understood it's supposed to be very beautiful. So let's go and check it out. The entrance to this museum costed us a hundred pesos. So at the current blue rate exchange rate that's about 10 cents. So not very expensive. So the reason I actually wanted to visit this museum was because this inner yard here is so beautiful. This is the kind of place where I wish I had a book and a cold drink and I could just sit in the shade by the flowers, enjoying the day. It's just so beautiful. It's quite a hot day today, so we came to this cute little cafe to have some refreshments. I got myself a pineapple smoothie. Ooh, that's really good. Very refreshing. We've now 
now come to a historical museum known as the Manzana Jesuita and I believe this is like a former university and the Jesuits basically played a key role building up Cordoba and the universities here and stuff and had a big influence on the architect and everything and in this museum you can find different book collections from them and that kind of stuff. I'm a little bit confused about what is, is, is this building like the former university or still a university or <laughs> what but um, yeah let's explore this museum and this museum is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This museum is a bit random. Now we're in some kind of cartography room. Um, yeah, I guess it has to do with the university, but a bit random. But I am quite interested in maps. I like maps, so I don't mind. But um, yeah, and here next to it, we have a room of books. I think Jesuit, Jesuit, Jesuit books. We're the only ones here. In order to get to these rooms, you need to ask the guards here to open the rooms for you specifically and you show them your ticket. And yeah, we seem to be the only customers here at the moment. just entered these underground ruins that they have here in Cordoba. It's very humid down here. We're now gonna take part of a free walking tour and we're gonna be exploring the more modern parts of Cordoba that we haven't really seen yet. And yeah, looking forward to it. As said, this walking tour took us through the more modern parts of Cordoba, which was very interesting as we'd mostly just seen the historical part so far. <laughs> eventually ended up in the hip neighborhood called Guemes, which is famous for its restaurants, bars and the evening market Paseo de las Artes. After the tour, we still went out for some dinner with two German guys that we met on the tour. And 
And so our day in Gordoba comes to an end. The next day we took the bus to Salta, but more about that in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.